Just got back from a long day of monotony, drudgery, hustling, and it got me thinking about comfort and shame. Because you know what I want to do after this draining, draining day? I want to eat some McDonald's, and I want to watch some things that I'm a little bit embarrassed about. But you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck shame. I am here today pushing myself to be more secure in my choices. I'm pushing myself to be more secure in my truth. I'm here today to admit some things that are hard for me to admit. I'm here today to have an open discussion about some of the things that I've watched, continue to watch, and wish I was watching right now. First TV confession, Vampire Diaries, bitch. Look, look, to preface, it was a weird night. <laughs> Uh, I've basically gone through everything I've ever watched on Netflix. I need something to watch on Netflix. I needed something with chill vibes. You know what I mean? There are weird vibes in the air. I need to counteract them. I've watched literally everything on Canadian Netflix. Enough is enough. So, I put on goddamn Vampire Diaries. Because you know what? It was recommended to me because I like Pretty Little Liars. Yes, that's another confession. So I put it on. I'm getting ready for bed. And then the next thing I know, it's 4 a.m. I'm five episodes in. And I don't know what's happened. But I'm enthralled, bitch. I am enthralled. Um, I can't talk about this with anyone. I don't feel okay. What is happening to me? It feels so wrong. But I like it. Um, ever heard of a show called Skin Wars, bitch? No? Well, it's on Netflix. RuPaul's in it, so that makes it legit, right? Um, no. It is one of the wackest shows on TV. Have I watched three seasons of it? 100%. Confession three, dating naked. The sensuality, the horniness, the yes. The overly produced love story. I'm here for it, 100%. The only thing missing, show me the nips. Um, anyone remember a double shot at love? That level of whackness has never been met again. Bisexual, twins, dating the same people. The twist at the end, bitch. I live. They both pick the same butch girl. She chooses the less hot twin. Iconic. Hello, old friend. There's a whole different level of shame watching when I get to my mom's house and she has cable. You know what I watch there? Pawn Stars, Storage Wars. One time I literally watched a reality show about a bearded man on a horse who chases people around the woods. And the premise is he never catches them. I was enthralled and I didn't go to sleep until 2 a.m. I don't even have the excuse that my mom and stepdad are watching these shows. No, they're asleep. This is of my own volition. And you know what, I enjoy it. I like Storage Wars so much that it is impossible for me to leave during the commercial break because I have to stay around and see how much the weird items are worth. Bitch. Home at last. You know, these confessions of my secret shame. It's got me thinking. I feel that there's a lesson to be learned in these confessions. What is good, what is bad? What is a prime show? I consider most prime shows to be a big brother, survivor, and keep up the Kardashians. Um, it's shocking, but I've heard rumblings that some people don't feel the same way. You know what, bitch? I spent too long pretending that I like black and white movies. And you know what? I don't like anything that came before 1990. And that is my truth. Let us embrace our truth. Let us banish shame. Let us listen without judgment. Let us enjoy the Vampire Diaries wholeheartedly. Because bitch, I'm horny for Elena. And I really want her to bone David. And you know what? It feels really good, after a long, hard day, to turn on VP, as I call it, get into the bathtub, eat an entire rotisserie chicken, and start to cry because Stefan looks like a foot. You know what? I am going to actively work on my vampire diary shame. Because shame has no purpose. And shame prevents me from being the queen that I am. And you know what? Even though I like vampire diaries, and I'm here for Delena, and I did Google Nina Dobrev topless, I am still a queen. There's no need for shame. I'm going to banish shame from my game and embrace everything I love. Previously,